Hello, welcome back to Think Coffee, and I hope everyone is safe. And uh, for those uh, who are not yet familiar on my channel, this is a channel that we talk about coffee and life of an OFW or overseas Filipino worker. Now we are going to talk about um, flavor and body and some information about the coffee that usually people who are just starting to be our barista or the people who were just starting just to understand more deeper about coffee. Uh, I'm going to explain it to you so that at least uh, next time if ever you hear this kind of things or this kind of information some, to somebody, at least you have an idea what really it is. But before anything else, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and always click the notification bell so that you're always updated on my videos. Let's go! This will not be a really long video, I'm just going to explain um, body and flavors. Um, because um, tasting coffee, it's actually hard. It's not that easy, it's much more easier to to taste a wine or beer and to determine their flavors than coffee so let's just start on the body what is body um, the easiest way to explain this is let's just say it's water to cream it's about the weight how heavy or how heavy or how light it or your palate or your tongue um, um, and we determine body it depends uh, how how good it is or how bad it is or it's something good uh, good body or rough body for example if I say good body um, um, it's it's totally not that bitter it's not that rough on your mouth and if you say um, bad coffee it's more bitter and rough and there's aftertaste bad aftertaste on it uh, when it's uh, usually um, heavy body coffee is you're going to notice it on uh, commercial coffee shops which is most of the commercial coffee shop they are using robusta um, they have arabica i know but um, more often they use uh, robusta and i'm not that I'm not criticizing um, uh, commercial coffee shop, but because more often they have a standard, which is for me having a standard, it's not actually exist on coffee itself, because coffee change its taste every day. It doesn't remain. For example, for today your coffee is too acidic. Tomorrow it will not. So totally there will be no standard. It's up to you how you're going to calibrate your coffee, how you're going to um, uh, adjust everything on coffee. So uh, for, the, for the flavor, um, it's actually hard because for example, when you, when you sew a bag, uh, if an uh, ordinary uh, person that really not yet a uh, coffee enthusiast or a coffee lover or a barista sometimes if they saw it on the back when you when you saw that uh, it's wild strawberry uh, macadamia and pineapple they were going to say oh come on um, it's it's just a coffee no no um, this is this is the thing it's not only just a coffee it's much more com complex or it's much more uh, difficult to taste than than wine uh, there's a stages how you're going to taste flavors uh, it takes time it takes uh, practice it takes a lot of skills to taste coffee itself for example for example I, I taste uh, something on the espresso which is um, uh, strawberry and there's the sweetness coming from uh, sugar cane and followed by aftertaste of uh, a jasmine aroma or um, lavender something like that it's it's really difficult to taste those things if you're not that yet uh, totally experienced on, on tasting coffee itself so uh, to be much more shorter body 
just good to consider it is water and cream how heavy it on your tongue or as Filipino sometimes uh, we use term matapa which is more oftenly you'll going to consider uh, taste it on uh, liberica beans or what we call that one in Philippines barako barako beans um, arabica beans sometimes it's it's very difficult to appreciate because some people when they taste arabica beans uh, they're going to say it's sour it's not sour it's much more flavorful um, because it has this uh, different uh, taste notes cup profile or flavors coming from the coffee that is more richer or more rich than rubusta beans so for the flavor itself you need a uh, practice on it um, like uh, on my previous uh, vlogs I explained it how you're going to enhance your uh, uh, palate or tasting uh, skills that after more practice at least uh, try to concentrate first not on the flavor itself it's how good is the coffee is for example if you um, at first you're going to uh, notice bitterness sourness and after that one you're going to notice uh, chocolateiness uh, fruitiness and after that you're going to notice um, sweetness on the coffee itself um, when you are tasting coffee just at first uh, not try to get all of the flavors in it it's because it's just very difficult for the people who are just starting but try to concentrate on how sweet is the coffee if the coffee is not that uh, it's not bitter and if it's more it's smooth not rough or or it has a uh, round body on your mouth just just start to determine at least three of this fruitiness sweetness and um, chocolate that's the first thing you're going to uh, practice first before um, trying more different things so that's it guys uh, hopefully uh, you learned something for today and on the end of this video I'm going to play um, uh, my entry on world home uh, coffee brewing championship and I'm going to uh, put the uh, link down below on the Instagram I hope you're going to support me just watch it share it and at least uh, like it so that's it guys uh, hopefully everyone is safe get caffeinated and God bless bye bye hi I'm Alex Burster from Abu Dhabi and I'm going to brew this Guatemala beans using Aeropress. Let's go!
stay at home, keep safe, and keep caffeinated.